I'm going to tell you a quick clinical vignette and in the comments below, I want you to tell me one question that you would ask in order to come to the diagnosis. Will you be able to ask the right question? Let's see. This patient that I saw recently, I'm going to modify some of the details to make sure it complies with patient privacy. An elderly gentleman who comes in with a history of ischemic heart failure, EF 25 to 30%, who's coming in with severe nausea and vomiting for one day. When he came in, he had AST and ALT in the thousands. We asked him all sorts of different questions like if he had changed his diet recently, if he had been eating any seafood, which he denied. He said he cooks all his food very well. No history of recent travel, no history of IV drug use, no weird pets at home or farm animals that are nearby. He denies having a strong family history of autoimmune disease. And that's pretty much it. The review of systems was pretty negative too. Just this uh, severe nausea and vomiting for one day. He didn't even have jaundice. For his past medical history, he had a cabbage uh, like 20, 30 years ago. He has heart failure with an AICD placed. Gout, hypertension, type 2 diabetes, etc. Social history, he used to smoke and drink back in the 80s, but quit ever since then, and he has never used IV drugs. Medications, he's on allopurinol, aspirin, atorvastatin, Bumex 1 milligram daily, carvedilol, duloxetine, and pagliflozin, linagliptin, metformin, renolazine, tamsulosin, and trazodone. His blood pressure is 137 over 65. He's got an AKI with a creatinine of 1.99, up from his baseline of 0.8. ALT is 1,400, AST 1,800, ALKFOS 86, T-Billy 1.9, and Albumin 4.3. INR is 1.14. Chest x-ray did see some pleural effusions bilaterally, uh, which seems kind of chronic for him. He has had drained in the past and just so showed a transitative effusion. We got an ultrasound of his liver in the ED, which showed a heterogeneous slash fatty liver. Uh, but that's pretty much it. So tell me, what is one question that you would ask this person in the history to figure out what the diagnosis is? I'll post a follow-up video in the next few days. I'm excited to see what questions you guys decide to ask this patient and then we'll see what happens. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to get the update video and see you in the next one.